Hello my lovelies, welcome to this fragrance and luxury town. Today's video is going to be a bit different. So I usually talk about, you know, perfumes that I love, niche design or whatever, but this is a list of underrated fragrances that you shouldn't sleep on. These might be newer releases or older fragrances that I, in my opinion, they're not talked about either at all or not enough. They are just like the sleepers, but they're they are the diamonds in the rough. First up, it's an Amouage fragrance and it's called Blossom Love. And I am just fallen in love with this fragrance. It is so beautifully floral, but it's got a bit of this biscuity amaretto note that I totally get and also what is so unusual about the scent and it's got cherry blossoms and you can totally just smell them and it's not a note in perfumery that i have in my collection like that often but this scent it, you can just smell the cherry blossoms they're so beautiful and this fragrance it's a bit almondy but still very floral and robust my husband loves this on me and i was surprised because usually like he doesn't like these sort of floral fragrances but this is absolutely amazing this is my type of floral this is not a basic forgettable floral that has been replicated a thousand times this is a beautiful feminine uh, floral with a bit of a twist that biscuity amaretto ness in it it really makes a difference and it makes this fragrance totally unforgettable and really underrated next up we've got one of my favorite fragrances of all time and i don't know why i don't own it but it's perhaps because i've just said to myself like stop it like you don't need another scent but this scent it's always in my head it's living rent free in my head literally it's an underrated scent it is dolce and gabbana pour femme this is the one with the red cap and man it's been around for a while but i think like light blue intense for example is overshadowing it always or the one was always overshadowing this one but to me this is like my favorite dolce and gabbana fragrance from this line it is beautiful it's this a warm vanilla marshmallowy it's a bit fruity with a raspberry but to me that raspberry comes across a little bit like cherry in my opinion and i love how soft and creamy and fresh at the same time it is it's one of those totally underrated fragrances so beautiful so delicious frankly and not enough people like hype it up and wear it and including myself so in this video i'm deciding i really need to get my hands on this fragrance and wear it more and talk about it more because it's just absolutely stunning next up we've got a enchanting fragrance and it's called la Domptus en cage this is a scent that is from serge loutin they've got so many fragrances at serge loutin um, and i love that they really care about like storylines and telling a story with their fragrance they've got like a library of fragrances so if you want to find something like Serge Autain is a great place to go. This scent it's so fun it's frangipani it's a bit of ilang ilang and this fragrance if you just looked at the notes you'd think oh it's a very tropical fragrance. Yes it is tropical but it is still very deep it's not a fragrance that i would wear on a holiday i don't think it's a fragrance that is fun but it's also clean it's it's a bit proper i would say at the same time it's a fragrance that uh, like a duchess would take on her holiday and she wouldn't spend too much time in the sun she would like stay in her air conditioned room so it's a bit cold and like prim and posh but with a fun of tropicalness it's a very intriguing scent totally underrated i love wearing it springtime actually because it's got those tropical notes but as i've said it's not exactly as the notes 
suggest. It's a bit more of that. It's got enough of that grip and uh, warmth to really be worn in the springtime. Next up is a fragrance I fell in love with at the first sniff. And believe me, not every fragrance that I love now was that way. Some fragrances I actually didn't like at the beginning at all. There's quite a few, but this one I loved. It's fr uh, Frustration from Eldo, so Italie d'Orange, but I've just, yeah, I, I'm calling it Eldo from now on. <laughs> this fragrance is just a warm roasted chestnut vanilla cinnamon fragrance and you know what this fragrance reminds me of one of my favorite fragrances for men that i actually sneakily would wear myself it's stronger a stronger view intensely from armani that fragrance i was always like yeah i love it on men but like i want it for myself as well it's so good it's a warm amber scent and this is like its niche version and yeah, this is a wonderful warm version. If you like fragrances that are warm like that or by the fireplace from Replica line, this is a lovely fragrance. It's much more wearable because like by the fireplace can get a bit um, smoky, <laughs> I would say. This absolutely love it first sniff, incredible. Haven't heard anybody talk about it. I just randomly discovered it at the counter and I adore it. Next up is a fragrance from Shiseido. And again, I think that don't usually go to Shiseido for fragrances, at least I wouldn't, but this fragrance surprised me so much and they've got now a couple uh, in the line, I believe, and it's Ginza. This is the Eau de Parfum, yes, it's the Eau de Parfum version. And again, they've used cherry blossoms in the scent and it's such a, it's such a refreshing note you just don't find it very often it's so positive so uplifting this actually would be a perfect spring fragrance i didn't put it on that list of spring fragrances on this channel but i should have it's so just light fresh airy clean positive that cherry blossom is just so radiant ah oh, oh, it's a beautiful floral scent and if you want something that is that typical designer, floral, pretty scent, but you want something that isn't quite as basic as some of those scents, then this would be a nice alternative. It's got lovely sweetness, really nice that cherry blossom. It's just captivating and perfect work fragrance, everyday fragrance, that sort of a vibe. The next fragrance that I absolutely love and I would love to add to my collection is, again, an underrated scent. It is a Bouquet Encore from L'Orchestre des Parfums. I already own Piano Santal from their line. Their fragrances are incredibly high quality and they're inspired by music. Music, but this scent in particular is heaven for me because I love white florals and this is jasmine tuberose. They're so incredibly creamy. They've also got quite a bit of pepper in here, which makes this fragrance a bit different, a bit like, oh, there's some spunk in this. It's just a delicious, incredibly luxurious experience. If you love your Rouge Malak Hide from, from Armani, then you would absolutely adore this scent as well. I love Rouge Malak Hide and I'm head over heels with this one. And it's so underrated of a fragrance to me. Like once you get Jasmine and Tuberose in that creaminess, right in a fragrance it's just unmistakably uh, revolutionary and this fragrance is one of them next up is another fragrance that is totally underrated and it is tobacco flirting with vanilla from mebizu this is the extrait de parfum so i believe all of the scents are extrait de parfum so very strong sprayer is amazing i always appreciate a good sprayer in a bottle and this scent man it's so juicy. It's like drinking a grape cooler. Like, I don't know what it is, but I remember being in America when I was young and I drank this like grape juice that was so intense in flavor. And this kind of reminds me of the opening of this fragrance, like very just grape, probably artificial grape sort of drink. But yeah, there is something like that in there 
obviously beautiful vanilla it's spicy but it definitely has got some grape currentiness at the top let me know if you also smell it if you have ever tested this fragrance or if you'll try it but there is that in it and it's so so delicious this is a fragrance for somebody who loves juicy but a bit woody transparent woody scents like if you love baccarat rouge for example like with that transparent woodiness but without the hospital note then this would be something that you would love because it's got that nice just leathery woodiness going throughout it man just smelling it so juicy so addictive mm. oh you know what it also reminds me of the top notes in musk therapy from initio that black currency um notes i think there is something in this even if it's not in the note there's something like that in there because it totally gives me that grapefruit not grapefruit grape slash blackcurrant mm, like ribena sort of a scent really good really perfect for a date or winter uh, for such a great scent next up we've got Gutal au Dardien I think that's how you pronounce it a lot of French today I must admit this scent is so underrated so stunning this is a very traditional i would say summery fresh bitter green you are in the garden there's loads of citruses fragrance so cooling in the summer so nice and transparent fresh this just smells like a very nice garden but without too many florals this is not floral heavy i would say it's more citrusy and herbal fresh fragrance so if you like more of that cologne cologne smell in your uh, fragrances this kind of reminds me actually of my husband's fragrance or sauvage or the toilette from um, dior not the sauvage the blue bottle but like the transparent one that they've got this kind of reminds me of that like french perfumery very fresh fragrance that you would find like in a good cologne at a hotel just to refresh yourself a little bit really unisex beautiful and yeah something that i'll definitely wear a lot this summer because it's just it's got something different that it's offering it's not just the basic you know Dolce and Gabbana light blue sort of before the summertime this is very special and um, it smells incredible oh just smelling it in the air mm, it's so just nice and fresh let me know what is one fragrance that you think why is nobody talking about this scent it's amazing you know let me know because i need some suggestions for new fragrances to try and i would love to discuss what scents you also find really underrated after all there's so many scents there's always new coming out like there's always going to be some that are just underrated and kind of slip by us. Anyway, follow me on Instagram at monica underscore choch, like my channel name, and uh, subscribe, of course, if you love perfume. You'll always find a video from me about perfume on this channel, and I'll see you in the next one.